Hello everybody, and welcome back to Demise of Nations. First of all, I want to point out, thank you guys so much for supporting this Let's Play. Uh, a big thing that I like about it is that you guys are a part of this with me. You know, you guys make the big decisions, I just kind of make them happen, if that makes sense. Like, you guys told me to declare war on Germany, you guys voted, and so I took over Germany. And I got a lot of comments saying to just go ahead and invade Spain, and that's what I'm going to do. First of all, let's just go and get- Ah, oh, God, I can't talk. Let's go over the nations that are allied with me. Let's see, let's see. Diplomacy. You can see there, Britain, Italy, Sweden, Russia, Turkey, Tunisia, Morocco, Finland, and Hungary are in an alliance with me. And I'm currently at war with Germany, and I'm at peace with France. France and Germany are pretty much already out of the game. That's why I'm just trying to make a peace treaty with Germany. I don't know. But I do have some units prepared. I want to declare war, war my apologies, on Spain right now. Like right now. But I'm not going to. I'm going to wait a turn. Because, as you can see, I have a few tanks, I can't use them right now. We have to wait, we have to be patient about this. Because it's not like Spain is unprepared, they are ready for this war. I just happened to evade Germany at the right time. Yeah, usually I skip over these things, but sometimes I talk over them. Oh, I got a message. Uh, Ukraine received my support. Oh, did they set my alliance? I think... Oh, they did! Okay. We have a great offer on steel. No. I'm actually making plenty of steel. Let's actually look at that. I'm making $275 a turn. That's pretty good. Not good... I mean, for the size of my nation... That's not very good, but I guess in general, it's pretty good. And we're also making quite a bit of steel and oil, so I would say, for the most part, we're a stable nation. Hmm. I'm hoping that Germany will just accept the peace treaty. I don't want to have to think about them anymore. Alright, let's go and declare war on Spain. Um, there were also a couple of people that wanted me to let them enter my alliance, but I don't think you people understand. <laughs> they were not going to enter my alliance, no matter what. They hated me for declaring war on France. There's no way that they were going to accept an alliance. And let's... Buy some steel to make one more tank. And that should be enough for Spain for right now. Hmm. I have allies right here. I'm gonna try to get Britain to go to war with Spain. I'm gonna try to get both my allies here to go to war with Spain. Actually, no, no, no. I don't want to ruin our relationship. I don't want to do that. Oh, Poland hasn't accepted my alliance yet. Why does Poland hate me so much? What the fuck did I do to Poland? I don't remember doing anything to Poland. If you guys remember something, please tell me. But as far as I know, they're just being fucking pissy. Alright, first real turn of my war with Spain. First of all, let's look through these messages. I offer a trade. I don't need any trade right now. I'm actually doing very well. Ooh, tax season is next turn. Alright. There we are. I do notice this. I'll work on that later. Alright. And I would like to point out, we pretty much, we're not just going to be dealing with Spain here. Because, as you guys, well, it's pretty obvious, 
Portugal is a huge ally of Spain. They really do not want me conquering them. So if they're feeling brave enough, they could go to war with me. Wait, did Germany not? Wait a minute, what? Germany ignored my peace treaty. Oh, uh, when will they learn? But you know what? I'm allied with Norway. That is it for Germany. Why won't Poland just accept my alliance? I don't get it. I don't get why they hate me so much. I'm sorry if I did something to you, Poland, but I don't know what I did. Did you just like Germany that much? Like, I seriously don't understand this situation here. I don't know. Maybe we could take over Poland, but I really don't want to. I love Poland. But I think that we might have to declare war on them. I really do. Alright, Portugal did offer me a trade. I don't think that trade affects relationships, though. I'll accept anyway, because I'm not sure. So we are doing well on money and resources now, but the thing is, that's also the case with Spain, because their tax season also happened. So I do need to watch it. And Spain is really striking back hard against me. I mean, I only got one tank in here. Send this one over. I mean, I'm doing well on this side, definitely. But this side, not so much. This is where they have all their units. Make two more tanks. I think the big problem with me with um, conquest in this game, I never want to use, I never want to like go all in when I'm conquering a nation, you know? I like to be careful and I think that's what fucks me up most of the time. So I'm trying, I really am, I'm trying not to do that with Spain. And we did manage to take this city. Let's go and take that Spanish territory down there. Oh, what? Spain's trying to invade France. Okay, that might be bad, because I don't want them gaining new territory. We'll see what happens. Alright, you ready for this? You see this tiny little bit of land messing up my border? See that? Watch. Watch. Boom. That is like... Fucking ASMR, just taking that land. <laughs> it's very satisfying taking land that's causing border gore. It really is. And let's go ahead and clean up this land by Italy. There we are. Now take a look at this border. Oh my, that is beautiful. <laughs> I'm sorry, I get so much damn enjoyment out of like fixing my borders in games. But you can't say that that is not a good border. I mean, Hungary is fucking it up a tad bit, but not so much. I mean, it's pretty much tame. And Oh, Portugal. I thought this was Norway's at first. Alright. So now, Germany is not a nation. We completely conquer Germany. Oh, what? Um, guys. <gasps> no! No, 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 don't do this to me. No. <laughs> oh, god damn it, no. Take my money, Por take, not Portugal. Take my money, Poland. I can't have them losing this war. I love you, Poland, more than I like Norway. Guys, I hate to say it, but I think that my only option here might be to declare war on Norway. I'll just cancel my relations for now. For now, I will cancel relations. Because I do see Poland sending up units. I'll see what happens. I'll see if Norway wins, or it starts to win. And if they do, I will step in and stop them. There we are, my people love me now, even though... I'm getting us into a war with every single European nation. <laughs> oh, man.
I still can't get over how good this border looks. Let's see. Oh, that wasn't that wasn't France, that was Italy. Oh wow. Okay. Well, Italy's not fighting back very good either. Okay, now we have Israel. You were at war with one of our friends. We will consider What? Aren't I allies with Israel? No, I'm not. Israel, be friends with me. Spain sucks. So overall, it looks like I will not need to step in for Poland. It looks like they had the situation under control. So I'm going to go ahead and request another alliance. And they better accept. <laughs> Alright. Fucking Spain keeps on messing up the border. Medieval 2, no matter what I'm playing, Medieval 2, Total War, Easy Tech Games, anything, Spain just always messes up the border, every single time. But we are making a lot of progress with them. Hmm. I might need to send up some rockets. Or just one. We only really need one. There we are. Let's actually... Be peaceful for once. Let's actually build a road. There we are. That absolutely serves no purpose. <laughs> I just felt like building a road, so I did it. Still not quite sure about Poland, though. We'll keep an eye on them. Because I'm not going to let that... What, what? 30 turns of trying to get them to come into an alliance with me? I'm not going to let that go to waste. Also, let's bring the Baltics over to our side. <clears throat> so, if you look at our alliance now... Well, Italy is no more. Italy... Well, they weren't really part of us anyway. But now it's Benelux, Britain... Sweden... Wait, what?! Oh no, Sweden, what are you doing? Alright, well, I don't think that Finland's going to be part of our alliance anymore, guys. So, Finland is going to get conquered, probably, by Sweden. So, the main people here, Britain, Benelux, Sweden, Russia, and Ukraine. I'd say that's a pretty good alliance. Oh, and... Oh, God, I can't tell. I almost said Portugal. And Poland. Speaking of Portugal, they did not accept my alliance. We'll keep an eye on them. Alright, so Portugal did accept my money. Good. They need to fight back against Norway. I can't let our alliance go to waste. Huh. Oh, wait! Oh, alright. I just had to wait one more turn. My bad. So Portugal did enter my alliance. Okay. I guess they saw that we're better than Spain. Also, my city over here is on fire, but it's raining. I wouldn't question it. Alright, let's get the rockets in here. Because Spain really wants to keep this city. I mean, not keep the city, take back that city. Let's get an infantry in here this time. I mean, overall with Spain, I would say that we are going to win this, but Spain's going to be a little bitch about it the entire time. They are not going to stop, like, sneaking around like this. Hmm. Let's take a look over here back at Finland. Oh, yeah. Yep, Finland's getting conquered. That they will live on in Russia. That is... I think that will be a thing. They might actually take back their territory. You know, despite all I've said about Hungary, you know, me talking about their border and them really liking Germany, despite all that, I would say they're my best ally right now. I mean, look at this. They're supporting me with troops. I mean, well, that's really the only thing. <laughs> but I would say they're my best ally currently, and also Poland. So, Hungary, Poland, and Benelux seem to be in a pretty good relationship right here. Also, we 
I don't know, like the border right here just looks good with this. Oh, the Baltic's also set to my alliance. Alright, I'm currently on top. Let's see here. I'm in alliance with pretty much everybody except Greece. Uh, is that Egypt? Alright, that's Israel now. Wait. No, Greece has it. Alright. So Israel did accept my alliance. Let's go back. So we're in alliance with everybody except Greece, Spain, and France. That's it. So once we take out Spain, that's pretty much it. Because I can't see us going to war with Greece anytime soon. So right now I'd say I am a pretty good leader in terms of diplomacy. I hope I say that when I've pretty much gained all this land from acquiring wars. But for the most part, I would say that I'm a pretty good leader right now. <clears throat> Looking back, alright, yeah, Poland's got this. Maybe... Is Hungary at war with Norway? Let me see here. Diplomacy. No, they're only at war with Turkey. Alright, I see. Alright, so I decided that I would like to formally rename Benelux. It just doesn't seem like a very important or threatening name. I think that we should be called Artstoska. Yep, Arstotska. If you guys get that reference, I fucking love you. <laughs> Alright, back to the war with Spain. I'd say we pretty much already won this. I mean, they have nothing to fight back. Well, fight back against me. Though I do have to focus on their territory down here in the Mediterranean and Africa. Hmm. Can I build a dock, actually? Um, is there a dock anywhere around here? Oh, this one, duh. Well, I'm very fucking stupid. So I'll use this dock to go and invade them in Africa. All right. And, yeah, Norway's just being a little bitch now. And back over here... Wait a minute, what? Are they at war with Sweden? No. Alright. Oh, well, I, I mistake that territory there, my bad. But yeah, Sweden definitely is going to conquer Finland. Though it won't knock Finland out of the game, because they still have all these units. Spain's trying to sneak around me. Let's go ahead and put a stop to that. You know, these rocket tanks are actually very good against infantry. And I have a fuck ton of iron. There we are. And can we go- yeah. Let's just go ahead and take out this city and be done with- I almost said France. Be done with Spain. Oh shit, my happiness isn't very good though. So let's actually take a look around. I know I'm pretty much stalling here, but I do want to look. After Spain, who should I declare war on? I don't want to declare war on Portugal. Actually, I kind of do. We'll do that afterwards. But... What, I guess, mighty nation, I don't say mighty often, but let's go with it. What mighty nation should I declare war on next? I'm not doing it against Hungary, because I like Hungary. Definitely not Poland. Greece accepted my alliance. I don't know. I'll let you guys decide. Might be Britain or Morocco. 
I'll decide after I take over Spain. We'll worry about it after. Let's go and build a couple of transports to get ready for this island and Africa. And they finally left Rome alone. You know, despite being in an alliance with like every single nation, Britain, everybody, I feel like the biggest Axis power right now. I really do. <laughs> like, with the sheer amount of conquest that I have done, I think that, I, well, now our Stotska could be recognized as an Axis power. I mean, look at this. I don't think that an ally would be able to pull this off. And I also did see, I'm sure you guys did as well, Poland managed to fend off Norway for the most part. They are really destroying these cities. Anyway, they managed naturally to push them back quite a bit. So I don't know, maybe we should declare war on Norway next. Hmm. Actually, I kind of want to sneak in here. There we are. I don't know if Poland will hate me because of that. I just really wanted that city. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have taken the territory of Spain. But we do need to focus on, I guess, these would be like their colonies, really. We've taken out Spain, now we need to take out their colonies. Africa, and these two islands. They took Sicily? Oh, Doug, I watched it happen. Wow, I am, I apologize. I am running on absolutely no sleep right now. So that's we go and take this island. There we are. And now we have all these units in Spain to send over to Africa. And, of course, Sicily. Yeah, let's just go and destroy that unit. There we are. And that will begin the invasion. So I think that's a great place to end the episode. So right now... I don't know, do you guys like Arstotska? Do you think I should actually rename it to that? I mean, if you don't get the reference, it sounds stupid, but if you do get the reference, I don't know, to me it seems more fitting than Benelux. I'll let you guys decide. Also, Hungary got to the city before I did, so I'm going to try to get this one. Alright, I think that we actually did get that one. But yeah, do you like the new name? And also, what nation should I declare war on next? So right now, it doesn't... It's not very clear who I should declare war on. I don't know, we'll figure it out next time. I really do hope that you guys did enjoy this. Goodbye.